off the ground center. It's a beautiful lighting system they have on the Look at the details they have. Hi guys, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. This is Goro with another video. I am right now in Grand Center Terminal in Midtown Manhattan. In this video, I decided to talk about what it takes or what to do as an international student to maintain a US visa. Everyone keeps planning and everyone keeps on thinking how to get a US visa and that's absolutely fine. You have to plan, you have to prepare and everything. But the main important thing is after getting a visa, there are certain rules and regulations which you need to follow in order to maintain the US visa. So there are some rules and regulations which you need to follow in order to maintain your visa status as an international student in the United States. So I'm going to talk some points like around five points which you should highly take into consideration and know that what I'm, what is needed in order to maintain the student visa in the United States because there are many occasions where which might be difficult for you to maintain your visa status because of maybe subjects are not being offered or you got sick and you cannot take any classes so that is very important that you follow this rules in order to maintain your visa status and it's highly important so if you want to know what are those five important points to maintain the visa status please give me a and also i will be showing the grand center of midtown and have been to like the transportation hub it's not only transportation hub but it also has like 70 shopping centers and it's a it's a cultural experience there are so many people from uh, users in new york and everywhere they connect into this big hub transportation center and i'll be showing you around too so if you want to know the information and if you want to see what is the grand central and how it looks please keep on watching So this is the Grand Central Terminal where I'm going. Uh, Grand Central Terminal is just the transportation hub and also as you can see it's uh, beautiful from inside. It's very pretty and here all the trains and all its transportation from New Jersey, New York and everywhere as you can see and also it has around 60 shopping centers wherever you go now guys i will tell the first point is maintain a full-time credit load now what is a full-time credit load is like as an international student you will have to take a full-time enrollment in the university in order to maintain your visa status so if you are coming on an f1 visa status or a j1 exchange visitor visa status, and the requirements are pretty much different for undergraduate and graduate as an undergraduate student you must take 10 hour credit to, in order to maintain a full time credit load and as a graduate student you must take around 12 credit per semester in order to maintain your full time status it might vary from universities to universities but i'm pretty sure that's a uscis rule which you need to take those credit now there might be some instances or some occasions in which you got sick or you got ill and you cannot attend any of those classes so in such kind of situation the first thing which comes to your mind should be the dso the designated school officer who will let you know uh, how you should proceed and how to take the full time credit card this is the beauty of grand center such a pretty view and beautiful lights if you see as you will go more and more ahead look at this beautiful lighting system they have transport look at the details they have it's so beautiful this whole building the grand central terminal is such an amazing experience you have to be here to experience this. Now 
the second point is do not violate US laws or university code of student conduct. Now as a international student all the institute or universities rules are applicable to you as a native student so it is very important to follow them and accept them rather than denying them. So suppose for example if you are on F1 visa here in the United States and there is a native student then both of you guys have to follow the minimum GPA requirement the academic level if you do not do that then there will be a huge problem and you might be conducting a violation of US visa rules and regulation and also the university's code on so it's it's very important to follow institute or university's codes which tell you how much academic requirements are how many gpa is required to move on forward usually it is three gpa for undergraduate and graduate students in order to move forward to next step and also if you are looking for any fundings then they have certain limit like you have to have like 3.5 or 3.7 gpa in order to maintain your scholarship or funding for the next semester so it is very important that if you violate any university's law and if you do not get that certain gpa your us visa can be cancelled and you have to be very sure of this situation and you have to make sure that you follow this course it's beautiful here people commute from different places and they come here this is called the main Concourse. It connects everywhere. As you can see, there's a huge US flag and it's a very pretty view from here. This is surrounded by everything, as you can see. It is like some kind of uh, star system which is going around in the ceiling but it is really very pretty view from here There's some scaffolding some work going on but this is how the grand central looks from inside it's very pretty now the third important point is understand the international travel requirements now as an international student you might be willing to travel within the united states or outside the united states and that's completely fine but moving forward let me talk about traveling within the united states it's fine to travel in the united states only if you have the valid documentation in your hands i mean only means if you have proper documentation always carry passport visa i-94 and i-20 with you and also if you have brought any state id with you please get that too and your university's id card because it is highly important that who you are and you might be stuck in a situation where you must show your identity or a proof then it is very important all the immigration documents are with you and you should always keep those documents in your bag whenever you travel within the united states or outside now when you are planning to go outside of united states please remember that you have to get your i-20 signed by your dso in order to return back to the united states so you have to have your visa and i-20 with you with the signature of dso on i-20 because when you will come back from your country or wherever you go outside of us at the immigration port they will be asking you i-20 and if there is no signature of dso in that i-20 then it might be a problem and they might not let you enter so please always remember to take the signature of i-20 whenever you travel outside the united states so these are two important things when you should always remember carry your passport visa i-20 i-94 and i-20 should be signed whenever you travel the see the metro north railroad system which i showed this is the timing table and this is the ticket center where you can take out the tickets so you just have to you can insert the coins here or you can do a card payment if you want to and then when you insert it i ha already have a ticket but you can insert it you can insert your card here the ticket or if you have a 
a metro card you can put it here and then you can pay and it will come you also have a wireless option and this is the touch screen you can select you want the one way a round trip or something else as you can see i can show you after going to one of the tracks as you see there is a ramp and you go off the ramp you will see a train which is connecting probably to new jersey this is a new jersey transit which you have seen it's on 108 so as it says metro north Number four, a very important point is keep your United States address current and your passport valid. As an international student studying in the United States, it's very important to keep your passport which is valid and which is not expired. Now, suppose your passport is expiring and you know about it, you must renew it with before six months of any period. And if you are on F1 visa, and you have to have a change of address suppose you transfer to another university or you went to another state or you are living in some other house then you must fill out a form called ar11 notifying uscis that you have changed your address and everything because uscis and your school needs to be notified first hand some universities if you change it in their website the university notifies uscis but it's better to double check and notify them and if you are on j1 visa you have 10 days to report your change of address and everything to the universities because it's very important that you are following these rules and regulations so that you are not getting in trouble whenever the information is needed and when some important document is sent to your address it should go to your address and your visa and passport they should not be expired because whenever you have to show as an immigration proof, proof you have to show a valid passport and a valid US visa so please make sure of these two points of the visa and passport should not be expired and the address wherever you say staying in the United States should be the current address detailed elevator they have it in the Grand Central it's so pretty it shows you on which floor the elevator is and it, it really looks beautiful from here fifth point is be aware of grace period after graduation now this is very important as an international student that after graduation how long you can stay unemployed or how long you can stay after finishing your graduation in the United States so usually for J1 students 30 days grace period is allowed to stay in the United States whether you want to find a job or you want to explore United States or stay in this country we have 30 day period as a J1 exchange visitor visa but if you have F1 student visa then you have around 60 days grace period after you applied for your OPT and the OPT date, after that you have 60 grace period, 60 days of grace period to stay in the United States to find a job or to explore the United States. So this is very, very, very important to know that when you are graduating, how much longer you can stay into the United States. If you exceed those days, then you might be having issues entering to United States or leaving United States later on so it's very important to be in contact with your DSO and the school to make sure of the date the final date which you are allowed to remain in the United States with a valid US student visa at this beautiful Vanderbilt Hall they have inside Grand Central Terminal it is so detailed and amazing it's so pretty it's like the historical palace which is going on around here. These were the five important things which you should always remember in order to maintain a US visa status as an international student. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like how I am doing vlogging and also I'm trying to give you information and if you want me to continue with such content please let me know and i hope you got the information and some knowledge from this video and i will see you in the next one thank you